Keto living is the life for me. Coffee, cooking, and recipes. Spinning my days with my doggies. So be a sport. Set your alarm for Wednesdays for the Warden's Report. Happy Wednesday and another start to another week of the Warden Report. I hope y'all are enjoying the last one. And uh, if you're new here, go ahead, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. We have all kinds of stuff that we put out. We put out recipe videos, review videos, um, my, of course, journey with keto, and then also my husband and how he treats his multiple sclerosis. So we've got something for everyone. <laughs> uh, so welcome again to the Warden Report. Thank you all for joining me this week. So today is... Wednesday afternoon, and all I've had is my coffee, so let me, I'm on my final cup, the warden, hence the warden report, right? Uh, this is, he's being noisy. Well, I'm still cleaning up from lunch, I'm sorry. Uh, this is my third and final cup. I do have a little bit of heavy cream in there, and uh, cinnamon and stuff, so... That's uh, my lunch today. Basically, I'm saving up because we are making empanadas tonight. So, I want to make sure I can eat plenty of those. So, uh, that video should be coming out pretty soon. And uh, let's give a shout out to Hungry He. Hey, yo. <laughs> so, you just enjoyed your lunch, right? Yeah, I got to get up here in a second and remake it for tomorrow. What are you having this week? Bacon cheeseburgers. Ooh, what, who made you that? Somebody, some girl I know. Some girl <laughs> you know? <laughs> some warden. Some warden, that's right. <laughs> Show respect. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, I meal prepped him on Monday, I think. I was off. Um, just burgers, three pieces of thick bacon every day. And then you're topping it with cheese and what else? Like some tomatoes. And then you were talking about your new favorite wing sauce. What is it going to be? I got some uh, sour cream mixed in with some guacamole, diced tomatoes, and a little bit of hot sauce. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Was it there cilantro in it too? I think you threw some in there when you were cutting it all up the other night. So yeah, <laughs> a little <laughs> smidgen of it. Well, you know how the cilantro goes. Once you start chopping it, it seems like it multiplies. Mm -hmm. Like there's just so much Somebody everywhere. Somebody walked into my bowl. <laughs> That's right. So just finishing up his lunch and there's my uh, Kim X. So every day he does make me coffee. And then we've got our Instapot going. Um, just figured that's an easy way of reheating uh, the smoked pork butt that he did on Saturday. Yeah. And uh, we just put it in there, and basically that helps reheat it. And, of course, I feel like with the Instapot, it makes everything a lot more tender. So we'll have that. And then we're going to be making empanadas tonight. And uh, that's... That's basically it uh, for right now. There's Look at all those stickers, y'all. So many. And I actually like these. This is a conversion chart, which comes in really handy. And then look at this one. It's all what the temperature should be for certain meats, which we still refer to that, right? <laughs> and uh, that's it. So got to get back to work here in a few minutes. And I'll talk to y'all later. Wednesday night dinner, y'all. I'm, well, we made empanadas. So he's got his empanada. And, ooh. Show me, yeah, show me the top side. Ooh, so crunchy. Inside. Oh, gosh, that's an up close. But, oh, my gosh, you guys. So we made empanadas tonight. I do have it with some well, it's actually avocado. It's not guac. Avocado and, of course, a couple tablespoons of mayo that I mixed with our uh, MCT. That's our moist clown tear hot sauce. 
and this this just what we made tonight we did record it so we'll be having that video coming out eventually and it was using this wonderful gift we received a dumpling maker kit so we had so much fun using this tonight again we've used it several times now all right and then that's dinner and uh that pretty much call it a day. Well, I say dinner. This is the only time I've eaten today. And I do have water. I am drinking water. That's it. Thursday lunch. I was really hungry today, so I decided to cook me up some of that Purnell sausage. So I usually cook them a couple minutes, and then I flip them. I just find that helps them cook more evenly since you cook from frozen. And then I'm just going to turn them over one more time. You can tell in there, all that fat actually is just the sausage that's um, from our pulled pork. And then, with the three pieces of sausage, I've got three tablespoons of mayo and then some pickles. This one right here is the Mikey D's habanero pickle. And you see there's a little habanero and a garlic. Yum. And then this is our homemade pickles, which I do as like a bread and butter style. And then I'll have this on the side as well. And that's my uh, lunch today. And I have had my three cups of coffee. So I'm good to go. Y'all, look, I'm standing in front of the wall of flame. But something got delivered for my birthday. I know, it's still my birthday, right? Um, anyways, it uh, just got delivered. And I opened it up. It was from my bestie. Y'all know her. Who knows what her name is this week? Anyways, so heads up. Fast forward a couple minutes because there are some, um, was it rated R stuff. So if you don't mm. want to see cuss words and um, inappropriate things, then maybe just fast forward a minute. <laughs> this is it, y'all. <laughs> I died and so look it's a candle uh, it smells really freaking good too cedar crepe market oh lemon peach and orange oh I love it because I love citrus scents so I'm excited I love candles I burn candle almost every day so yes that is hilarious to me and then the other thing <laughs> It's called stool tea. Look at this, y'all. I know, it's wildly inappropriate, right? Good thing I work from home. <laughs> Look, the tea goes in here. And there's like, you pull it out, put the tea in there, and then this rest is, oh my gosh. Did you imagine having that in an actual office? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'd probably get in trouble if I had an actual office. <laughs> And it's awesome, too, you get to put your lips up next against it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you so much. This is awesome. And it's Thursday night already. We made Migas again. This is actually a recipe I did for our channel members. Um, but basically, it is three ounces of our smoked pork butt, two scr eggs scrambled in with it, of course, some jalapenos and peppers, and like onions. I do have a tablespoon of butter, and then this is our crispy chip. See, so can you hear that chip crunch? And a little bit of cilantro in there. So that is what's in the migas. And then on the side, I do have this chunky avocado. Now here's the trick with these little cups, because like sometimes this thing gets plastic, like sealed, vacuum sealed rather. So what I found is if on the bottom, flip it over, and you just kind of like push it a few times, that'll break that vacuum seal, and then this should peel much easier for you. But I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Oh, I can. Look at that, y'all. I'm talented. But yeah, so it'll peel much easier. You just have to break that vacuum. And then I've got some hot sauce here. Thank you again. I'm loving it. And of course, my water. And that's dinner, y'all. Pretty uh, cut dry and easy. And this is what I do, too, because, like, on days where I end up having two meals, like, it doesn't seem like much, right? Like, if I put this on a big dinner-sized plate, it'd look like a little bit. 
what I do is I use our lunch or appetizer plates, and then it looks like I have a whole lot of food, right? It's all like tricking the mind a little bit, but that's my other tip. I thought I would show to y'all that I do drink something else besides coffee and tea. I do drink water. So this is my water mug. We got it from Two Crazy Ketos. Gosh, probably two, maybe three years ago. It's, I do really like it. Um, and then, does anybody else dog do this? I, He's learned, y'all, that... When he starts hearing me get the cubed ice out, he comes running, and he loves ice cubes. Look at him. Isn't that so funny? I mean, Delilah will eat it just because he's eating it, but he, like, freaking, like, he came, he was dead asleep on the couch, heard me getting ice, and comes running in here, looking up at me, like, okay, where's my ice cube? <laughs> Because what happened is I, you know, sometimes the ice falls out or something. So I put it, I have like a little uh, water dish here that I put, it's like a travel one. So I put the ice cube in there and he started eating it, but he loves it ever since. So yes, let me know if your dog, there he goes, loves ice cubes as well. So it is Friday morning. He has, of course, to go to the grocery stores um, to get all the stuff for the Friday night feast. And then he had another errand to run for me today, downtown Houston. So he's out doing that, right? And while he's doing that, I'm at home, of course, working because I, I work on Fridays. And, see, it's so dark in here. The dogs didn't want to come to work with me. Look at them. Vegging out on the couch. I mean, it does say reserved for the dog, but seriously, y'all. Taking it to the new level. And yeah, that's what they do. I keep telling them, come in here with me, but nah. They're like, nah, I'll veg out on the couch. Thank you very much. It's more comfortable than the blankets on the floor. Spoiled. Y'all are so spoiled. But that's okay, you're worth it. Friday lunch, y'all. I'm having again Purnell sausage, three of them. That's got that love chamoy sauce on top. A couple of pickles, homemade of course, and my homemade mayo was a flat iron seasoning. The rest of my coffee, look, that's all the coffee I've left. Oh no. In my mug, the word mug. And then tonight we are making what we're calling Texas Dragon Age. So, y'all tune in for that to see a Dragon Age. Ha ha. That's a game, y'all. Let me know. Comment below if you've ever played that game. I loved it. Anyways, called Texas Dragon Eggs. And you'll have to tune in to see what that is. But we're really excited about it. Aren't you? Yes. <laughs> you went all the way to downtown Houston to find some avocados. Yes. <laughs> and maybe a few other things. Right. So, we're excited about making that tonight. Already getting hungry for it, or maybe I'm just hungry. I mean, I haven't eaten. He's eating. All right, y'all. We'll see you tonight on the Friday Night Feast. Saturday morning. This is breakfast. So, yes, we're getting up, eating a lot earlier than normal. Um, and so, what I'm having today, our electricity went out. Well, they're a transformer blue in the subdivision, so they're repairing it. So we decided to go and have some coffee. So what I have here, they actually had more sugar-free options than um, the Starbucks that you get. And it looks like it's Tarani, so take it with what you will. But it's sugar-free vanilla, um, amaretto, and something else. So I got the amaretto, and they had heavy cream, so I just got it with coffee with heavy cream and the sugar-free amaretto. I've rarely seen a sugar-free amaretto, so I was kind of excited about that. And then for, they had a plate that I would consider 100% keto. It's just their scrambled egg plate. So it comes with buttered scrambled eggs, bacon, cheddar cheese, and avocado. Like, here we go, breakfast. Perfect keto, no substitutions, everything worked. And then he, he got the all meat, um, 
omelet and then he added of course onions and jalapenos and mushrooms you know him and all of their main dishes do come with a spring salad and he we have a Cholula so he used that as his dressing and it normally comes with potatoes but we were able to sub out the potatoes for avocado so when we saw the avocado on my plate we're like yeah I, normally they're like you could sub for fruit and I was like, well, we don't want the fruit either, which was mostly melon, bananas, and pineapple. We were like, yeah, avocado's this is fruit. perfect. Yeah, that's true. Avocado's fruit. But, mm -hmm. yeah, now he has a really good fat source, y'all. So, perfect. Oh, my gosh, Mom. I can't believe you abandoned us for an hour and a half. Like, that was the worst hour and a half of my life. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're back. You guys, literally, I got back and he was whimpering. Like he thought I abandoned him forever. And of course, she was all needy. And I took him outside. He's doing better with his reactivity. The neighbor's dog again was out barking its head off. It used to, he'd run over there and like try to, you know, like bark back or get all excited. You know, the hairs on his back would raise up. Now, I've been doing this thing, and sorry if you don't like this, but whenever um, the dog's barking, I go, eh, like that. And then Sam, it immediately makes him stop and and focus back on me. And so every time that dog barks, I do that noise, and then Sam just immediately stops what he's doing, and then he's like, oh, what? And so that's good. That's improvement. So now he's no longer running to the very corner of the yard to bark and get all excited and try to go see that other dog now he's like focused back on me which I, it takes time but he's doing it because you know you don't want your dogs to if they see another dog to go crazy go running after them so delilah's always been i mean she was just so easy to train because i would just be like she's such like her main goal in life is to please me and make me happy. So that's why she has, I don't know if she's ever gone in the house herself. I don't think so. Um, so she, you know, she, because she's like, oh, I know mom hates that. So I don't want to do that. And one time she got out of the yard because I had a little, um, poodle mix and that poodle mix, he just, he was destined to roam forever, so he liked to get out and roam. And so she was like, I'd only had her for a couple months, so she's still a puppy. And she was like, well, I want to go see what's out there. Like, why does he want to get out so bad? So she got out, and when I got home, you see how dark she is. And when she was a puppy, she was like solid black. She's got a little more gray now. And I could not see her, and it was pitch black, and I was like, oh my gosh, where's my little Delilah? And I opened the front door, y'all. She was literally right there by the front door, and she looked at me, and she was like, I don't know. I don't want to go outside. You weren't out there, and this is scary, and I'll never, ever, ever, ever leave you again, right? She said, right. That, that was awful, Mom. And, and she's never gotten out, and I have opened the front door, and she will stick right by my side. She don't go running off. And so she's just always been so easy to train. Like, when I say she's the perfect dog, she is the perfect dog. Like, she's just amazing. Right, Delilah? Delilah, are you a good girl? Tell everybody how good you are. Come here. Look at me. She's camera shy. Look at that. She's like, I know you got the camera on me. Oh, my gosh. It's so embarrassing, Mom. Don't feel me, Mom. That's embarrassing. I haven't done my makeup yet. <laughs> And then this little toot. So he's coming along. We're getting him there, right? See, I'm good. He's definitely come a long way. He hasn't had a house accident in a while now. Um, so he's learned that. And we're working on that reactivity. And I think, though, he's just getting a little spoiled. Because we both work from home, he's not used to when we leave. And so he's like, no, you left me. Oh, my gosh abandonment ptsd that's what happened before to me and so he just has to learn right baby yes so yes mom i gotta he's laying on my lap because he's like i got i gotta lay right here because i can't let you go anywhere right <laughs> all right y'all just giving you a little update on the puppers but again with this sexy man <laughs>
<laughs> and we are at a restaurant. It's called Perry's Steakhouse. I think they're nationwide. But we came here for the turtle soup, y'all. It is a gluten-free soup, and there's no rice. So you see it's got the chunks of the turtle and then sausage in there and some veggies. It's very thick. And then they serve it. This is a, uh, I believe it's sherry. So, yes, it does have a little alcohol. So if y'all are opposed to alcohol, but, and you pour that in there, get every drop out, and um, that will be it. We'll tell you our thoughts afterwards, but I'm excited. Dinner is served, y'all. Look at that. It's a six ounce filet. Oscar style, so that's the lump crab meat and Perry's steak butter, and I, of course I asked for extra butter. There's steamed asparagus, and that is my entree. And then we did get some of their sherried mushrooms. Oh wow, it's good. And then eats plate. His y'all, it was such a production. They come table side. You'll have to go look at his MS journey to see how they uh, serve it up. The presentation's stellar. But I'm really excited about mine. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> and here it is, Sunday the 22nd, y'all. I've been busy today. Here was my to-do list. I completed everything, actually. The one that was crossed out, I actually didn't need to do. So, all completed. I feel accomplished. And then, it's time for dinner. So, my hubby, the great Hungry Heath. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. He smoked a brisket overnight. So, that's our dinner for the week. And so, I've got five ounces of brisket. I did drizzle some of the um, fat, fatty drippings over it and then I've got four tablespoons of mayo I have a little love chamoy a little of our barbecue sauce a couple goat cheese stuffed mushrooms and about a half an avocado and that's my dinner so you see lots of good fat options plus this is the fatty side of the brisket so it's going to be a little more fat as well and that's my uh, dinner on this Sunday so sorry just been busy getting everything done um, there's never really a day off, is there? Happy Monday, y'all. I hope y'all are having a wonderful week. I'm, you know, a lot of people hit, hate on Mondays, but I'm having a pretty good one. So, nothing to complain here. I'm just grateful everything's going well right now. And then here's my dinner. So, I haven't eaten. This is my OMAD, I guess you'd say. I've got five ounces of that fatty, delicious, smoked overnight brisket. I do have a couple mushrooms and one whole jalapeno stuffed with goat cheese. And then for my fats, I've got an avocado and four tablespoons of mayo. Plus I do have a couple little uh, green tomatoes there. And this is just the um, homemade mustard barbecue sauce. Thought I might want some of that. And that is basically my dinner, y'all. Um, this is what we're pretty much going to be eating all week long. And uh, just working on doing this. And then during the day, just drinking my coffee with, of course, lots of fat in it. Kind of sad because I ran out of my heavy cream today. So, until Friday, I won't be having any heavy cream. I'll just have to enjoy coffee with just coconut oil. Uh, that's okay. It's really fine. It's okay to take little breaks, right? But, yeah, that's my dinner. Hope y'all had a good one. Tuesday, a rainy day, y'all. Look at this backyard. Like, the deck is soaked. Like, of course... I know we have a couple leaks, but oof. look, there's the steps, and you can see as it goes further, some of the steps are actually already underwater. <laughs> that, look, the leaves are actually floating. Hopefully, it'll drain quickly, but otherwise, 
yeah, the dogs are not happy. And it is definitely wet, wet, wet. It's been storming for, gosh, a good hour. Come on, babies. And see over here, same thing. I mean, at least uh, my plants, there's Timmy, Sag, and Rosie. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. I think I kind of gave up. Oh, look, Delilah's going to try. She's like, Mom, I'm a good dog. I will find a potty place. I got a potty. You're so good, Delilah. Extra treat for you. But, yeah, isn't this... Well, <sighs> it looks like I'm like in a uh, medieval forest, right? <laughs> like swampy and all these trees and dark and hazy. Just remove the fence. All right, anybody has got Photoshop, remove that. Put like a, a fairy or an elf or something back there. I've been watching Lord of the Rings today, so. Tuesday lunch. I was just really hungry today. The past couple days I haven't been, but today I've been hungry, so I'm having three pronounced sausage and the, no that's not ketchup it's that i love chamoy and then i've got three tablespoons of mayo along with seasoning now this is the primal kitchen mayo and then i have one stick of this string cheese which is what he got i think at costco this past week and that's my lunch and then tonight's gonna be brisket again y'all it's only been like 20 minutes and then another strong, powerful rain came in. Woo! This is going to be a fun afternoon. Tuesday dinner. Again, five ounces of brisket. One whole jalapeno with a little bit of cheese. And four and a half tablespoons of mayo. And then on the side, I have this Melinda's ghost pepper. Mm. And of course water. Happy Tuesday. So it's mid-afternoon. I will be getting off in less than an hour and then I um, have to make dinner. So all I'm doing this week is reheating. We're having brisket again for dinner. So on lunch I usually carve off a uh, few slices and put it in the oven on warm and by the time um, dinner rolls around it's all done for me I made coleslaw for heat for the week as you know I can't do the cruciferous vegetables so I don't get to have coleslaw so but he's got it and it he loves it it's just real easy y'all it's just cabbage I do the green cabbage usually much cheaper and then I added red onion and we had some cilantro and a couple jalapenos mixed it with lots of mayo we do like a mayo based coleslaw and um salt pepper and then i used one of the flat iron seasoning excuse me so for drinking today i am um having one of my nespressos and it's the um blanco forte it is like probably my favorite flavor by Nespresso. If anybody uses Nespresso, tell me what's your favorite flavor. I did add a little bit of the chai stevia. Oops, sorry you guys. Um, and so, there we go, sorry. The phone was acting funny. And so uh, it went, it tastes pretty good. Um, I think I just did two drops in it. But I just wanted to be, uh, I don't want it to be oversweet, right? And that's it. This week, it since I last checked in with y'all, it seems like it's been a fast week. I don't feel like I did a whole lot of talking um, with y'all, so I'm sorry about that. Um, just, you know, living the life, as they would say. Um, been watching Lord of the Rings, or having that play, and I'm not watching i like to hear noise while i'm working um so that's on amazon prime y'all so if you have uh, a prime account it's on there it says till february 1st 
So, uh, I love Lord of the Rings. So, just wanted to watch all of it one more time before, you know, it's no longer on Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, what shows would you recommend? Um, I did watch, oh, shoot, what was it? I watched, oh yeah, The Wheel of Time. That was really good. Um, but otherwise, as far as like keto and high fat, I mean, I've been still keeping my fats really high. I think the longer you do it, the easier it becomes. So I know some of you are trying to do it and you're struggling. That's fine. I'm telling you, I was totally like that at the very beginning. Like the fat fast really helped kind of like transition me into the high fat way of eating. Uh, because on a fat fast like you're aiming for 95% fat. So then when I did that for five days and then going then just on regular maintenance, so, so to speak, then um, it got me, you know, like I was like, oh, okay, I could do 90% because I did 95 for five days and felt incredible. So it's been going pretty well. Um, I know... You know, basically, when we went out to eat that day, I probably did not get 90%, but, you know, try to do as much as I can. That's why I like to have the fatty coffees, because that really helps up my fat right there. Um, and then, uh, and one thing I wanted to talk to y'all about, so I was talking to my coach last Thursday, so every Thursday we check in, and I was like, oh gosh, I've got this June cruise coming up like should I go ahead and start a cut now you know so that the cut ends and you know before the cruise and she was like okay and I think this is kind of important for a lot of us uh when we go on or we're doing keto or we're doing a reset or a challenge what really is the reason because my coach she was so good because she goes wait are you wanting to do this cut because you have vacation in mind like you're trying to quote unquote lose or get to a certain place um by the you know by a certain date right she's like because that's called diet mentality and we don't want that anymore we're not in the diet mentality we are keto this is life and it really got me thinking i was like yeah i was kind of in that same thought like oh gosh i got this june cruise coming up maybe if i do a cut maybe i'll loot, shave a few pounds off you know different things before the cruise right and and yeah i mean i've dieted my whole freaking life since i was like 10 years old i think it was the first time i went on a diet and i was like yeah that is kind of where i was thinking is um oh i think my internet just went out but that is kind of where I was at as I was thinking, yeah, if I can just do that before the cruise and it's like, no, I don't want to have that diet mentality. And so I think that is something that is very unconscious in a lot of us because we've done that, right? Oh, there's a wedding, there's a birthday, there's a trip, you know, vacation, um, some kind of graduation, uh, whatever it is, right? Oh, well, if I could just drop, you know, five, ten pounds, whatever it is, right? And we get into that cycle, and I think that's good if you decide that you're doing any type of challenge, any resets, the other word that gets thrown around. You know, I don't like these little terms that people will use. But anyways, if you have that coming up, really evaluate what's the real reason you're doing it. Are you doing a challenge? A reset because oh I went off the handles at uh, the holidays or oh I've got a trip coming up those aren't the right reasons don't do it for those reasons like in other words just don't do the challenge don't do the reset if that's your mentality because all you're doing is perpetuating that whole diet cycle and what happens in a diet cycle we restrict because our goal is to like lose weight, lose inches by a certain date. And then guess what? When we reach that, then we kind of go haywire. Or if we don't reach that, then we blame ourselves even more. Like, ha, you failed again. Look, you couldn't cut it. You couldn't do the 31 days. You couldn't do this, couldn't do that. Like, oh, well now, you know, 
Might as well just throw caution to the wind and eat all the things, right? So how does that serve us? So I would highly suggest if you're thinking of doing any type of challenge or reset or um, cut to evaluate, why do you really want to do that? And if it's for a specific goal like vacation, weddings, or reset because, oh my gosh, over the holidays, I just gained so much weight because I was going off playing every other week. Don't do it for that reason. Instead, do the regular keto you've always done. Just continue doing that. Get yourself back to doing those things. The habit of being keto, if that's what happened, right? Just Get in that habit and just be keto. And then when that other thing isn't in line, like you'll know when you're like, you know what? Okay. Yeah, I need to have this. I'm going to, I'm ready for a cut. Not for a specific reason. Not when you're trying to look at, well, if I do this now, this 30 day challenge or this, then that means it'll end right before here. Or then, you know, I'll have the highest results before this happens. Don't do that, y'all. Instead, keto is the health optimization diet. If you're following keto, you do not need to do a reset, a challenge, or even a cut, right? That's Those are things to utilize as a certain tool down the road. So after I talked to my coach, I was like, yeah, I was back in that old diet mindset. You know, it's hard. When you've done it for 30 plus years on and off diets, it's hard to break that, right? So I said, yeah, I'm not going to do a cut. And like she agreed, she's like, you're doing great. You're feeling great on this high fat. Why don't you just keep doing it? Let your body keep enjoying this high fat food, high fat energy that you have. And your body will eventually adjust and then eventually you'll be like okay you know what yeah i've been doing this a while now i'm ready to just kind of cut it back so that eventually i can reverse out of it and be at an even higher rate right so um that's that's my thoughts let me know y'all's i know again it is mental like it keto i think has definitely helped all of us as far as metabolic health right but the mental health is still something we i would say most of us still need to focus and work on and yes keto helps some mental but it's still a lot of self-care we have to do and self actual actualization um that we need to do in order to move forward that way so i think keto has really helped a lot of areas where sometimes we don't look at ourselves and give us self care and think of the mental aspects of things. So that is something we definitely have to address, right? So keep eating keto for your metabolic health and then work on your mental health. So that's my thoughts. I hope y'all enjoyed another um, week on my warden report. Um, I'll show you my dinner here in a bit. It's just, it's the same as last night, right? Um, but go ahead, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Who knows what random thoughts will come out of my head next week. And definitely give this video a like. That really helps the channel. And giving us lots of comments. That really does help too. And in fact, leave the comment. The word of the week is L-O-T-R for Lord of the Rings. Bye, y'all. Thank you. And again, watch all of our wonderful channel members. Y'all are so great. Thank you for sub, um, subscribing and being a channel member. In fact, this is a reminder. Channel members, this Saturday, January 28th, is our monthly cook-along. You should have gotten the email. It'll either say Google Meets or Hungry Heath. And it'll have the recipe card attached. So please contact me, email us if you did not receive that. Thank you all.